for the show that her boobs so far have not east and west yet. So <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> not east and west, so pretty good. Yeah, but the one year though, I, I have changed a lot. You know, I, my, my tummy grows so much. Yeah. It's, it's very embarrassing, so that's why I have to wear a jacket. Just cover my, uh, my growth right here. Yeah, I, I didn't try to go to a go to gym, try to get some uh, six pack, but a year later, look, I got six fat going on yeah. <laughs> Six fat, okay? Yeah, wow. <laughs> so back to my uh, Valentine's Day story. I'm just like, I don't like Valentine's Day because, like I said, I'm single. Okay, I'm a single mom, so I have you spending Valentine's Day by myself. I don't know for how many years now, you know. And this year is tough because uh, across the street, my neighbor, their new neighbor moving in, they bought a house, a young couple. So my house on a little higher ground than my neighbor across the street. So Valentine's Day, I noticed they put a light, you know, the decoration, the pink, pink light all the way around the window. And then they have a red heart light flashing, right? On the big, huge window. And they did not close the curtain. So I was like, from my uh, living room bay window, huge bay window, I look at that, them, they're like, I can see people, you know, walking around, or maybe naked, I'm like, there's something going on there, you know? <laughs> maybe the porn going on there, wow. And I started feeling restless, because I was trying to do it, watch a free show, right? I <laughs> yeah, but I got restless by myself, right? All of a sudden, like, I'm looking, where's my battery? <laughs> I'm looking for my battery. Yeah. And then I realized, you know what? It's not the battery I needed. Okay, I, what I really needed is the new. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the job, the lubricant. <laughs> we don't need an AI high tech on this thing. Uh, so it's like, because the new goes with everything. You know what I'm saying? The new goes with uh, cucumber. <laughs>
But you know, uh, last two years, I do feel like we're normalizing this country. I feel a little bit relaxed because uh, the previous four years, 2017, 2020, I really started to worry about this country because I'm an immigrant, the first generation of immigrant. So I feel like, wow, during that four years, like, isn't melting pot this country still a thing? You know, I start wondering, right? Because uh, I feel like nobody likes immigrants anymore. Like, I feel like we're all melting. <laughs> wow, this country is all melting. You try to separate all the ingredients, right? You would send the soy, soy milk, I mean, soy sauce back to China. Right. That's what I felt, you know. Uh, but the, you, you, you hear TV and the social media, people just don't like a lot of other people. You know, I'm, I, I'm not trying to say white people, I'm just saying. Some people say they don't like, uh, they don't like Mexicans, right? they don't like black people, they don't like Asians, and they don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, we, we need to be uh, fair to mis mosquitoes, okay? Because mosquitoes are bipartisan, right? They bite every, everybody, anybody has blood, so, so leave the mosquito out. <laughs> but you know, I feel like, you know, uh, white people, you're upset because of this wall thing and the immigrant thing. I think instead of trying to untangle this uh, multi pot, I think you should focus on what you're good at, right? So white people, uh, do you know what you're good at? What that you do best, nobody else can do, right people? Focus on that, do that, right? So if you haven't figured out, I'll tell you, okay? Uh, white people do a very good discover continent. <laughs> discover so many shit. <laughs> you already landed on the moon, right? You did it. Yeah, the Russian, white people, American, NASA, they landed on the moon, and give it up to yourself, yeah. So next, next, Go to Mars. <laughs> well, Elon Musk is doing that. So go to Mars, that's your good at it. But next time, when you discover a new piece of land, make sure you don't call it Indian anyway, anymore. <laughs> that's been taken twice already. <laughs> yeah, and another thing, when you go to a new place, make sure you vaccinate yourself. Yeah, you know, because your germs work pretty good. Right? <laughs> It's been, it's been proven. Your germs kill 25 million Native Americans. Native. Yeah, Native. I'm talking not American, like the whole North South America, Canada, you know, down, yeah, the whole thing, okay? That, I Googled it. I Googled it 25 million, yeah. But my daughter would correct me. My daughter said, don't say Native Indians. They are indigenous people. Okay, white people, you kill. Your germs kill 25 million. Million indigenous people. <laughs> so, and also, you invented the uh, vaccine. So just use that, get vaccinated, okay? Next time you go. But you know, for me though, I, I, it took me a long time to melt your pot. <coughs> I'll give you an example. Okay, when I first got here at the University of Idaho, that's where I went to school, okay? Moscow, Idaho. Moscow, Idaho. What? Murder. murder, famous for these things, right? The quadruple murder. Yeah. That most was that one. That most. Right? That one. But you know what? When I heard they caught this, the killer thing, the PhD student doing uh, working on his criminal justice degree, I was like, don't you think the criminal justice department should teach the student in that program? Class number one. Do not kill people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they forgot to teach that one. Anyway, uh, so back to my student day. When I first got here, every time I drink cold milk in the morning breakfast, I got diarrhea. Because in China, we don't drink the cold milk. Yeah, because everything has to heat it up. Because China, the milk is not pasteurized. Yeah, in China, so we, so, but, but still, it's just my stomach is not used to cold, cold milk. So I got diarrhea, by dinner time, if I eat pizza, I got constipation. <laughs> yeah, so I got two things going, okay? Diarrhea in the morning, and the constipation and, uh, every time the pizza, you know? That, so I got two different pills going on. I got pill treat different uh, symptoms. Uh, but then I realized later, like, I was stupid. You know, when I had a constipation, I should just go drink the milk. <laughs> 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 it was pretty stupid, yeah, I know. So it took me about a year. 
uh, all of this is gone. All of a sudden, I finally, I can drink uh, cold milk just like you, everybody here, and also pizza, no problem. No constipation. What I'm saying is, it took me a year to mail your paw. And I'm American, all right? Yeah, I can eat just like Americans. But now, that four years, like, very depressed, frustrated, because people want me, send me home. I did have people at parking lot when they saw me, like, go back to your country. I'm like, wow. You, you try to separate the soy sauce from the chili, chili now at the pot. Okay, I'm saying, don't send us home. We're we're mounted, okay. All right. Um, so what what's what's some of the things that the news going on here? Uh, all right, we, we talk about that. Uh, I am American, though. I mean, first time I I think most people probably already know. If you see me before. I'm American by choice. How about that? Yeah. 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 When I say that, I feel like you guys are saying, uh, for a Christian. <laughs> born again Christian. Born again Christian. Because you have to think about it, right? You have to make a decision. You have to weigh pros and cons about it. So it's not an easy decision, okay? Yeah, not like you guys. You guys, well, how you born? How you become married? Your mom said, I my water broke, right? <laughs> go to the ER, go to the hospital, born, you're born, right? So you're American by chance. By chance. Oh my God, that is no brainer. Well, that's too easy, you know? Can I say that? You're American by chance, very weak. American by choice. Wow, yeah. I feel like people are, someone put a dog, not, I mean, knife on my neck, okay? Okay, okay, no, you're great, you're great. You're lucky, you're chosen people. Yeah, chance is chosen. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, let's, uh, you know, but actually, after I got my blue passport, American passport, I went to uh, overseas. The first trip I did, I did Chile. I went to Chile, I went to Belize, I went to Colombia, uh, I think for like a month, I uh, traveled those countries. And somehow I figured out, American passport, American is not the favorite people. It's a Canadians, oh wow, they want to Canada, right? Wow, so I got the wrong passport, and now I'm gonna like, well, any Canadians, show hand. Maybe, maybe I should marry again. Any Canadians, I want a Canadian, Canada passport. I got the wrong passport. Okay, that's a joke, I'm very proud. I'm very, I'm very proud, but I do wish, I do wish, uh, because Canada, they recognize your citizenship, so I don't mind at all to be a Canadian because being a Canadian come with uh, free healthcare, right? <laughs> yeah, free healthcare, because uh, you know, if I had a free healthcare, I, I would have quit my job a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I work for a department of ecology, Washington State, been an engineer for, I don't know how many years, I just feel like I work there just for the healthcare. Anybody agree? You feel like, I feel like I'm a slave, first of Blue Cross, yeah. Then Kaiser Permanente, right? Kaiser Permanente, that's the health scanner company. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the last year I didn't quit my job though. I did I did quit my job. My Chinese friend uh, heard it said her company said, Yay, yeah, why do you quit my your job? You you got a pretty good uh, job. The Chinese people call iron ball. Iron born, a right? very secure government job. So I was like, uh, because I don't want to steal American jobs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was a beauty as charge. You know. Government jobs have a lot, a majority of white people, like 92%, 95, something like that. Spokane, now I quit, so there are 100% white people. In Spokane, yeah. I know, uh, anyway, uh, to be, to actually though, to be honest with you, I. The reason I quit, one of the big reasons is I realized one day I'm a very good place. Anybody can do my job. What, what's your job? Uh, what's your day job, sir? What do you do for a living? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, Any more? Okay. Okay, good. Oh, how about you? Okay, anybody has a job? What's your job? <laughs> what's your job, sir? What's your day job? What's, I'm a recruiter. What is it? A recruiter. Recruiter. You can do my job. I guarantee you, anybody here can do my job. Because, yeah, I, my job, because English is not my uh, first language. Okay, it's a second language. It's my second language. All day long, all we do is acronym. You know, jargons. You can do jargons. You can do my job. 
Yeah, one time I was on the phone with this a customer. Call me and finally he got tired of me. He said, "Why do you always tell me BLM, BLM? You're like, uh, you you can go go on street as a BLM. I'm like, what do you mean? You got problem with the Bureau of Land Management? <laughs> That's why I keep saying you need to get your permit from BLM first before you get our ecology uh, permit. So, okay, now they know, people know yeah. about BRM. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the PC room, okay? So, but anyway, BRM, uh, Black Lab Matter. Right? That was, I don't know, I just BRM of the whole five minutes on the phone. Uh, but my favorite acronym is uh, BPJ. BPJ stands for Best Professional Judgment. That's BPJ, that's my favorite jargon. You know, acronyms all day long, because I do a lot of PowerPoint presentation, right? So every day people ask me, how did you get that result? I said, BBJ, my BBJ. And my boss says, hey, you screwed up. That's wrong, okay? So how did you make that mistake? But my BBJ, <laughs> my BBJ. Okay, nobody laugh on that. Uh, <laughs> but my new acronym is I work at home a lot, so my son heard me saying BBJ all the time. And he said, I could do BBJ. So I said, what is your BBJ? And he said, I can I can make peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> it's not exactly, right? It's not exactly BBJ. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm just so happy to, uh, to be back hosting this again. And my, my job as a host, uh, of course, is to warm up this mic. How's my warming up going? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. 